snake, what happened? What do you think? Are you not feeling well? No, I'm feeling fine. I had the most amazing dream thanks to you. Ah, you didn't really dream about Drac. Don't say it. The last thing I need is a double feature. It was surreal. I was being attacked by a horde of weird human-like monsters. What's wrong with me? It must be a form of persecution complex, probably triggered by extreme stress. The external stimulus of the room is... I've got a different theory. I think it was caused by your pillow talk. But I didn't... <sighs> I'm sorry, Snake. I didn't know you were that sensitive to it. I mean, who'd have thought, Drac... Uh, uh... Sorry, that just slipped out, I swear. Come on, Snake, don't be mad at me. All right, I forgive you. Really? Yeah. Good, I'm glad. Snake, there must be a way out of there. Don't get discouraged. You'll find it. I intend to. So, on this part, you're gonna be hearing a lot of cutscenes and conversations. This is a new weapon, the fork. You can eat stuff instantaneously. Yummy! Come on. So I'm gonna get some secret cutscenes here. Um, this is the first one. You give food to the guard. And by the way, you got a gunshot here on the leg. And you have a transmitter. If you want things to be easier later on, get the transmitter off you right now. But since I want to get a special cutscene, I'm going to keep the transmitter. I'm going to take out the bullet. Because the bullet has something for you. A fake death pill. Another way of getting out. But I'll do it the classic way, which is... Well, not the classic way, but the hidden way to getting out of here. And there are a lot of uh, funny conversations as well. So I'm going to get to that in a minute. Oh, well, you can have it. By the way, remember the guard's name that he's going to be revealing. There's going to be reference about this hey, hey, on hey. Metal Gear Solid 4. No spoilers in the comments, please, or you will be removed and blocked. That's how serious I am about this. Well, oh, yeah. To your loss. Be my friend. Hey, you're not such a bad guy after all. I, uh, I guess not all Americans are dogs. You mean it? Yeah. You know, before the war started, I used to live in America. I even had a, a wife and a kid. You must be pretty lonely. Yeah, I am pretty lonely. Really lonely. What's your kid's name? Johnny. Johnny. Nice ring to it. Really? You like it? Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Actually, my name is Johnny, too. All the firstborn sons in my family are called Johnny. My dad's a Johnny, and my son's son will probably be a Johnny, too. Whole clan of Johnnies. Why do we have a Cold War anyway? Our two countries used to be such good friends. Yeah, I hear you. <sighs> I just want to see my family again. Must be rough. Yeah. Not as rough as you have it, though. Here. I filched them from your equipment when the colonel wasn't looking. It's uh, the least I can do. Well? 
Don't suppose you could let me out of here. Huh? I can't do that. Hey, don't you go getting any funny ideas. If you try to escape, I'll have to shoot you. I've said too much. I gotta go. Alright, so let's make some funny calls. Really funny. Funny! Hehe. <laughs> Snake, what happened? Major, what year is this? Beg your pardon? Where am I? It's 1964. You're in a cell in Groznygrad. What did they do, Snake? Make you drink an entire keg of vodka? No. You know, I hear they've got 98 proof vodka in the East. Back in England, we don't call stuff like that fine spirit. We call it sulfuric acid. Imagine, if you will, your internal organs being slowly eaten away as smoke pours out of your mouth. Really, Snake, you shouldn't be touching that. Was it a dream? A dream? Well, how nice. And here I thought I sat up all night worrying about you for nothing. It was almost real. I was holding this sword in my hand. Snake, are you okay? You're not going loony on me, are you? Not at all. I'll make it back, no matter how much of that sulfuric acid they make me drink. Good show. I'm sure you'll find a way out of there. Yeah. Dream a little dream of your own while you wait for word from me. Snake, you okay? Yeah. I had a terrible dream. No kidding. What happened? I don't want to think about it. I was being attacked by monsters that look human, and... I'm not even sure if I was really me. At least it was just a dream. It's all over when you wake up. True. When you think about it, the fact that you can imagine a situation worse than the one you're in now means life can't be all that bad. I sure hope so. Well, let me tell you about the absolute worst, most sickening nightmare I ever had. This isn't one for the kids. Okay, so there's this big pile of crap, right? It's shaped like a giant tank, and it's walking around on two legs, going on a rampage and stomping on people and houses and stuff. And this giant turd is carrying the nastiest missiles you ever saw. Like, whenever it launches one of its turd missiles, whatever it hits, people, trees, buildings, turns into shit. My hometown, my old school, my family, my girlfriend, old man John, everything in that turd's path turned into shit. That's... pretty sick, man. Good thing it was just a dream, huh? Yes, that's a good thing. You feeling better now? Yeah. Good. Then let's get down to business. You see, Snake, people are just sacks of shit, and they're full of holes. Fill them up with water, and it's gotta come out from somewhere. Okay, maybe that was a bad example. What I'm trying to say is, no matter what the situation, there's always a way out. Don't throw in the towel yet. Clear your mind. Think it through. Assess the situation. You'll find a way to escape. Got it. Don't let my nightmare come true. Right. Snake? Eva, do they drug the prisoners here with hallucinogens? I don't think that's their style. Why? I had a pretty bad dream. A dream? This monster that I'd never seen before was coming at me with a knife. And I wasn't me, I was something else. That doesn't surprise me. You're in a mild state of shock from all the pain and exhaustion you're going through. Ah. Maybe one day you'll learn to stop hiding yourself. What do you mean? I know how you feel, Snake. I'm a spy too. You don't realize it, but the fake you is eating away at the real you. The person you're pretending to be is becoming the person you are. And the real you is screaming out from somewhere deep inside. That's what you saw in your dream. Maybe so. I'd sing you a lullaby or something, but... Unfortunately, I don't know any. So pick your favorite song. And I'll sing it for you in your head. Any song? And you can have as many encores as you want. Sounds fun. <laughs> it's a deal, then. I'm sure you'll find a way to escape. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, so let's get out of here. As the guard didn't fail to notice, he gave us the cigar and spray where 
Whether he thought it was a cigar, so he didn't check it. It was his mistake. So you can put him to sleep through the bars. And the number to open the cell was revealed in the picture, and it was also revealed by the ghost that was uh, fooling around in the torture room behind boss. Come on, dude, go to sleep. And that's number is... This one. So you already had the number getting out even before you got into the cell. Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole in the northwest section of Groznygrad. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. So this guy will get up in a second. He all of a sudden gets up. I don't know why he always does it. I don't know when exactly, but I'll just neutralize him again. Uh, let's see. There's some stuff you can get here. Whoops. There he is. Go to sleep. There we go. Oh, we got a camera. Let's just try and get out of here a little fast, because that's a torture room. There's nothing in there. And here's some medicines. Ooh la la. Miri Hanai. Awesome. And here's a magazine with the snake on cover. So, we're done here. I'm getting out. <laughs> and on the next part, we'll attempt to escape Grosny Grad naked. See you then. Bye bye.